Hey, hey, you know what it is, Kwan Money Mayo in the building, and hey, I know it's been a while, so I thought, hey, it's time for me to give you guys some news that you can use, some of that, you know, some of that good game, you know, and Bree, like I said, it's just been a minute since I did a live with no ulterior motive, <laughs> you know, so it's been some time, I just gave you guys some pure value without trying to sell anything, all right, so that's basically where we're at right now, you know what I mean, I'm about to show you guys, you know, some key things and some key things that you can take away to be able to be know a top marketer but not only that be able to attract the top marketers all right so we're going to get into it let me go and uh like i said pull up my page real fast so i can be able to take these comments as they come in and we go from there all right so okay so let's 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 dive in we're gonna dive in man we're gonna really really like i said put this all in perspective because a lot of times you know when we when we join network marketing companies you know online marketing we tend to try to get any and everybody you know, we want to try and attract as many people as we can, right? We're trying to get, you know, everybody into the business that we can talk. We try to talk to as many people and try to get as many people signed up and many people interested, many people active. And I'm going to be honest with you. That's not a bad thing. You know, ultimately, that is what we're ultimately trying to do is, you know, be able to get people into the business, right? That's the whole purpose. That's the whole goal. That's the reason why we're marketing is to be able to build our business. The problem comes in. OK, I'm going to tell you where the problem comes at. The problem comes in when we try to keep, keep treat everybody the same. When we, treat, when we put everybody in the same box, that's one problem. OK, because all of us have different personalities. All of us have different work ethics. All of us have different drives. So we can't treat everybody the same. The second problem comes in. It's thinking that just because you're motivated, just because you're doing everything that it takes to be active in your business and be you know productive in your business, that everyone else is going to do the same. That's another mistake that we're making. The third mistake that we make is, and this is for people that actually do have the skills to be able to, you know, put in multiple people into a company and get sales. And, you know, people like myself, what we make the mistake of is thinking that or not realizing that what we have is a gift. And that gift, you can't teach a gift. OK, like, for instance, you can't teach someone to jump from the free throw like michael jordan just because they like they love basketball they dedicate to you know showing up every day to play basketball it doesn't matter if they're there all day if they're shooting jump shots all day if they're running drills all day there's only one michael jordan so michael jordan is going to be getting frustrated you're gonna be like man just run to the top of the key jump uh, stretch your arm out and dunk the ball and then somebody's gonna be like yeah that's your gift you know or you can't teach tiger woods can't teach someone how to hit a bar hit a ball 300 yards you know what i mean like yeah he can say okay stand like this you know uh get your shoulders you know line up with the ball by, and then swing and even after doing that you still probably wouldn't be able to hit the ball 300 yards and get a hole in one and be able to pull off the things that he's willing to pull off right because that's a gift and it's a reason why when you see teams and your favorite basketball football there's one wayne brady there's one kobe there's one you know lebron there's not the whole team is lebron even though the whole team is learning the same drills, the same plays, they're, they're even working with LeBron. So you would think, man, I'm working with the man. So some of this got to rub off on me, right? Wrong. You see what I'm saying? That's where things starts to get a little shaky. That's where you start to notice that, okay, well, wait a minute. Maybe there's a little bit more to this. Actually, maybe that everybody that signs up isn't going to just do as I do and be able to come uh, uh, knock it out the park. Like me, you know why? Because that's a gift and you can't teach a gift. Yeah. I can show you what I'm doing. Yeah. I can say, yeah, uh, 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 you know, all you need to do is X, Y, Z and you're going to be successful. But at the end of the day, I can say that all day. I can teach that all day and it's still going to take a certain skill set to be able to pull that off. Okay. So let me on real fast. Thing access. Yeah. Okay. Now just answer the questions. All right. So that right there is a, a gift. You can't teach a gift. Okay. You can show someone, you can hope that they uh, 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 implement these things, but at the end of the day, it's only going to be a select few that's going to be able to pull that off. So once you start putting that in perspective, right, once you start actually realizing that, wait a minute, everybody isn't meant to be Michael Jordan, but everybody 
it collectively makes up the team everybody has a position to play and ultimately that's how you end up getting to the end to the super bowl that's how you get to the championship you see what i'm saying so even within your marketing company even within your business you still have the right people to be able to get you to the top but you cannot treat everybody the same you cannot look at everybody uh, uh, like they're all going to run the same play as you. You cannot look at everybody like they're going to jump from the free throw and be able to dunk the ball, okay? And once you realize that, you stop getting frustrated. You stop getting frustrated when people don't show up to webinars, when people don't come to the Zoom call, when they don't read all the information that you give them, when they don't take action right away, when they don't implement the same plays that you're playing. You don't no longer get upset. You start letting people be who they are because you also got to realize that everyone don't have the same drive and motivation. Everyone's not coming into the business to gain the same thing you want to gain. Like me, I'm trying to hit 100,000 or more a month. A lot of people is cool with just hitting 100, an extra $100. You know what I mean? To be able to get their first thousand, they would be ecstatic. You know, let God forbid they was ever hit five, 10K a month. Oh my God, they'd probably be ready to go retire and quit their job. OK, everybody has different reasons for why they start marketing. Some people want to just make an extra a, 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 a few bucks to be able to pay off the credit card bill. You know, what I mean, to be able to, you know, uh, pay that, that 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 extra bill that's been kind of a burdensome or to be able to offset the, the, the price of inflation on food and gas right now. And they fine with that. So if you was to get that person in your team, yes, it still was a beneficial because it still helped you with your ultimate volume. But ultimately, what it didn't do is. It didn't make you have to put a, a bunch of time and energy into the wrong person because that person just came to be a customer or that person just came to benefit from the products or to be able to get it for a better price or be able to make a little bit of extra money so they can pay for their car insurance. But they don't have any interest to really, really build, go hard in the paint, do webinars, do live on, 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 on Facebook. They don't have that same desire. So since they don't have that same desire. They're not going to do the same things that you do to inspire. See, once we break it down, it's like, well, wait a minute. OK, this is making sense now. Now I can revamp. I can re strategize. I can redo the way that I'm doing things and not have to get stressed out. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me give you the other scenario that would stress you out fast. Here it goes. You treat everybody the same. You put them all in the same box. Everybody, come on. You're doing onboarding. You're doing training. You're doing Zooms. You're doing, you know, you're walking them through the whole presentation. You're making yourself accessible. And then they don't do nothing with any of that information. How does that make you feel? Now, watch this. Same scenario. While you're doing that with this person, right? You got somebody over here that's ready. They motivated. They can't wait for you to reach out to them. They want to work. They want to build with you. But guess what? You put all your time in this person right here that you didn't have enough time for this person over here. Remember, there's only so many hours in a day and you're already trying to run your own business. So you don't have a whole bunch of time to waste on people that aren't ready to produce income activity, uh, generating activities. So you got to look at them like, OK, I'm, I still appreciate you on my team. I'm going to always be here for you. Here go my personal information. Here go my phone number. Here go my email. Here go my whatever you want to give them. But here it goes. But until you show me that you committed, until you make a direct distinction that you're ready to take your business to the next level i can't pay you too much attention i gotta give my attention to those that warrant that attention so now you ask yourself okay i got that so who warrants that attention who warrants that attention let me tell you your job now watch this this is going to break things down so much and make things so much easier for you because before you was going after everybody you wanted to see everybody that was there right you wanted to see you know who was going to uh, 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 uh who 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 who's going to join the team today you know you wanted to see if you can go put four five hundred people into the business well let me tell you something stop that thinking how about this go after four you're looking for one two, three, four people that have leadership qualities, people that are looking like they're doing the things that you that you expect them to do. They're, 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 they might not have success yet, okay? But they're trying to build a team. They out here, they show up to all of the of the Zoom calls, whether they have somebody or not, okay? They, they, they're always asking questions. They're always producing. They're always marketing. They're always posting. That's the person that you pour your energy into. That's the person that you pay attention to. So now you just caught the secret. You want to hear the secret? Stop looking for marketers and start looking for leaders. The key here is to look for leaders. Okay. 
that's a lot easier looking for 100 marketers. Remember, they say the average marketer is not successful. They say 95% of marketers don't have success. They say only one, three, and 5% is actually at the top levels in any MLM. Okay, then that means you need to look for them. But now you ask yourself this. Well, wait a minute, Kwan. I'm not a top level marketer yet. I'm not on top of my game yet. So why are these people going to join me? Why would a leader like of your caliber right now, Kwan, right? Why would a leader like yourself join me? And I don't even have my stuff together yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. Yeah, I picked up a lot of nuggets that you've been dropping down, but I, I'm still not there yet. And the person can clearly see that. So why would that person join with me? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. To a certain degree, you're right. So that's the reason why you might have had a hard time getting leaders that's already in the field, because those leaders are not sitting around waiting for somebody to call them to join the opportunity. Think about it. You think I'm sitting around waiting for somebody to contact me in my inbox? I'm already successful. I already got tons of things going on. So technically, really, I'm not really looking for anything. If something happens to land in my lap, cool. But for the most part, I'm going to say my plate's already kind of full. I'm not really looking for anything new. So then how do I get a leader on my team? Simple. You create it. Let me say it again. You create it. It's a lot easier to create a leader than to go after an existing one. The existing one's already cocky. They're already, you know, they're feeling themselves already. They're probably going to want, oh, you got to pay me to get in that opportunity or you're going to have to make it good for me. What's the deal? You know, you're going to have to make, you're going to have to sweeten that pot. Like these are the type of things you're going to get from a leader, you know, especially if they're at the top, top, top of the game. You're not just going to get some leader at the top of the game already making 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000, 100,000 in another company. And then here you come, hey, Kwan. You need to come look at what I got going on. This thing is hot. This thing got the best comp plan since comp plans was invented. Man, if you see, man, we already got like 20 leaders over here breaking the 20K mark and they did it in 20 days. Man, I'm telling you, Kwan, you come over here with your skill sets. Oh my God, you're going to be making a million dollars a month and all this. And all I'm thinking is, I already make a ton of money in the companies I'm in. So why should I stop doing what I'm already doing? It's already working to go someplace else that might possibly work, but there's no guarantee until I actually work the business. Think about that for a second. So in order to get that type of leader, you're going to have to bribe them. You're going to have to give them something that's going to, you know, uh, 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 sweeten the pot. You're going to have to make it worth it for them. Otherwise, they're not going anywhere. They're not about to pay you no mind, no attention, nothing. How many times you been in that situation? Did you see them join later? Come on. I shared that with you first. Yeah, but this other person made the deal way sweeter. They told me I didn't have to pay to come in. They told me they're going to put me at the top of the comp plan. They told me they're going to give me one leg to start off with. And all I had to do is concentrate on the other. Yeah, that's a way better deal, right? But those are the kind of things that's being handed to big top leaders. You know me. I'm just going to keep it real. You know I me. Mean? I'm going to keep it real. You know? So how can you compete with that? You can't. So your job is not to try. Your job is not to even try. Okay? He said, hi, those hype don't work anymore, let alone this does not make sense. Okay. He said, hi, those hypes don't make don't work anymore, let alone this does not make sense. I don't understand what you meant by that, but <laughs> I think I might have misunderstood what you said, but you say true right there, so that's all good. At the end of the day, okay, those things, unless he's saying that trying to you know reach out to those type of people is not gonna work, it's not gonna work. But here's the, what does work. Let's say you got a guy just joined his opportunity, okay. He, they ain't where they want to be at right now, but they got ambition. They got drive. You know what I mean? You see them on every call. You know what I mean? They're always asking questions. They're always working their business. They just haven't had the success yet. If you reached out to somebody like that and you said, hey, Giovanni, uh, you know what? I've been, uh, you know, watching you. You know, you've been doing some big. You've been doing good. I mean, you've been doing what you're, supposed to, what you're supposed to do. But I'm also noticing that you're really not getting the success that you want. I haven't seen you rank up uh, yet. You know, it's been, you know, you've been in the business so, for some time. And you, I'm pretty sure you haven't reached your goals. Let me ask you a question. What I want to know is, can I, can I be your mentor? Can I take you on and I want to help you have success within your business? I want to help you become the leader that you deserve to be because I know you got what it takes to do it because you're doing all the income generating activities you need to do. It's just a couple of things need to be tweaked, a few things you could be doing better. And these are things I think I can help you with and bring to the table. If that's what I came at you with, how many people you think going to say no to that? You're not trying to sell them nothing. You're not pushing products down their throat. You're literally saying, look, let me help you. 
Let me help you become me. Then let me ask you another question. Retention. If you reach out to somebody like that and you help them become successful, it might take six months. It might take six days. It might take six years. I don't care how long it takes. Whatever it takes, you do this, that person becomes successful. What kind of loyalty do you think they're going to have to you? Do you think another person going to be able to come steal them away from you? You think somebody's going to be able to say, hey, I got this company. It's the best thing since sliced bread. I know you're over there with Kawan, but you need to come over here with me. You're going to be like, are you crazy? Kawan gives me access to Elite University. He trains me once a week. He he he, he makes sure that my I'm, I'm good. He'll even call me without me calling him sometimes. I got his personal phone number, and he taught me how to make my first $1,000 online. I'm not going nowhere. Think about that. Oh, yeah, grab that the opposite. A bunch of people you sent your link to. They all came in, you know, at, at any given time. Everything was, you know, gravy. Hey, I'm happy. Woo, I'm loving it. And what? No loyalty. There was nothing. Because after that hype runs, fall uh, of age, after the hype of joining, after the hype of, am I going to get spillover? Am I going to get this? Am I going to get that? And then what? Reality sinks in. Oh, I'm not making no money. Oh, I haven't been able to recruit nobody. Oh, I haven't, I haven't been able to get anybody in. Damn. What am I, what, what, what I going to do now? What am I going to do now? Now I'm out of here. I'm going to go look at that other thing I saw over there. Oh, oh yeah, Forest just started. They got this Forest company. Oh, CBD. I love CBD. I'm going to get my CBD. Oh, 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 oh. You're all over the place. Now you ain't getting nothing done. Create leaders. Now, here's the thing. Leaders are rare. Okay? I'll show you how rare they are. They're, they're, they're rare. You know, they're, they're rare. You know, it's like, see, looking at the clips, they're rare. You're not going to see them every day. So, in your, in your organization, in your organization, let me ask you a question. How many leaders do you think you have in your organization right now? I'm willing to bet that on any given day, you only got like one leader. If you got one leader in your organization, it can change your life. Let me say that again. If you got one leader in your organization, it could change your life. Watch this, though. If you got two leaders in your organization, it will make you rich. Okay. Are you listening? If you got three, four, five leaders in your, in your organization, chances is you miscount it. That's how rare it is. Even myself, top-level marketer, now site, been in for five years, personally putting over 2,000 people myself. And guess how many leaders I got on my team right now, currently? This is no shot at nobody, okay? I know some of you guys are working. I know you work in your business. But when I say leader, I look at a leader like I don't have to call them. I don't have to help them. I don't have to uh, train them. They probably don't come to none of my trainings, but they're still maintaining their rank. They're still ranking up. At any given time, they can do the same numbers I do or more. They got they, they put up YouTube bills on, uh, without me having to coach them through it. They, they, they run a business. They are leaders. They got people that follow them. You know how many people I got like that? Out of 2,000. When I said that, and I know you might have thought that was an exaggeration, you was like, oh, man, one person? How is one person going to gonna make gonna, gonna, gonna make you, you know, rich? Well, I'll show you how, okay? Again, no shot to nobody, but I just really want to put this in perspective. The person that put me into one of my companies, right? I'm not even going to say the company so people don't, oh, one of the companies I'm in, person put me in it. They check went up to $6,000 a month. That person maintained that six thousand dollars for two years without having to recruit nobody went six months and then recruit one person into the business after that let me say that again they put me in for two years they didn't no 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 i'm not gonna say for two years they didn't put nobody in for two years they were earning six thousand a month but for six months they didn't recruit nobody knew nobody knew and they were still making six thousand dollars a month Almost got to 9,000 and it was 100% based on my value. Now, going on five years, they're still with the business. They're still making over $1,000 a month and it's 100% off of what I'm doing. Well, I won't say 100%, but let's say 90%, maybe 95%. That's one person. Well, now, listen, remember I said one person on your team could change your life. Two people will make you extremely rich. What if she, what if that person has two Kwans? 
Oh my God. Do you know how much that person would be? I, I just told you they're making 6,000, but just me. What do we got two of me? That's how powerful it is. Now, let me ask you a question. You think it's easy to get 100 regular marketers that's, that's going to quit in three months or six months and give you a bunch of hell and call you about every little problem? And, oh, my God, Kwan, they changed the comp plan. Oh, my God, Kwan, they changed this. The sky is falling. I just had this conversation with somebody because another company changed something. Oh, my God, they lied to us. It's over. The sky is falling. Oh, Kwan, what are you going to do? Oh, 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 oh. I said, I'm going to work my business. I ain't got no control over that. I'm an independent sales rep like you. I ain't got no control over that. So if you're going to let something as little as that knock you off your game, what's the alternative? You're going to not make money now? You're going to, I'll show you company. I'm going to quit. One month you don't stop no show. They don't give a damn if you quit. Bye. There's tons of people to replace you. Think you're hurting somebody? It's almost like the person that blocks you on Facebook. So what? We're just Facebook friends. I don't even know you in real life. Bye. Block. Who cares? Think you hurt somebody? Ha ha ha! I just blocked Kwan. Who gives a damn? <laughs> Get to blocking. I don't even know you. You just made more room for me for somebody else. Good looking. That's how. That's how companies feel when you quit. I'm quitting. Cancel my account. Who cares? You were, you probably wasn't working anyways. Because if you cancel so quickly and so easily, chances is you wasn't doing nothing anyways. Because people that's making money don't quit. So why does a company give a damn about you quitting if you ain't even making no money? Let that sink in. See what I'm saying? Mindset. All the way you think about things. So now again, let me ask you a question. Is it easier to micromanage a hundred of them people? Or is it easier to manage one or two leaders? One or two leaders. Now, you're not looking at everybody the same. You're coming out here focused. You're looking at this like, okay, wait a minute. Now that I'm not looking just for everybody, yeah, I'll still put everybody in. But at the time that I'm looking for everybody, I'm focused, laser focused on finding that leader. Finding that leader. Who's going to be a leader? Who got leadership qualities? That's who I'm going to put my all into. That's who I'm going to be on Zooms with. That's who I'm going to call every day. That's the person I'm going to hold hand. Not this person that's going to quit just because they changed the comp plan or they changed something. Oh, I don't like the owner no more. I don't like him. I don't like what he did. He changed up on me. Okay. You're going to let a person knock you off you, your game? My mom always told me, look at your glass half full. Because if you look at your glass half full, you won't have to worry about being half empty. Because you're going to be knowing that it's a blessing to even have a glass to drink anything. But a lot of people don't look at it like that. And every little change and every little thing that go wrong will knock them out. You'll be like, man, why'd you quit? Oh, because it changed the comp plan. Man, why'd you quit? Oh, because it changed this, it changed that. Because I didn't like the way the owner did this. We used to be beacons and now we're a marketing platform. We, we this, we that. I didn't get my silver last month like I thought I was. And blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, guess what? Now all you got to do is start over. You're going to start over now. So you're telling me it's better to have to start over versus just working with what you already have? If I already built up a nice, solid infrastructure team, I don't care what they change. I'm going to see it through because it's going to be a lot harder for me to quit and start all over again. But this is the mentality of a marketer. OK, that's why I say 95 percent of marketers aren't successful because 95 percent of the marketers are thinking the same. If you look at the leaders. The leaders are all thinking the same, too. And that's the reason why the leaders get results. Look at people like me. Look at people like Michael Mansell. Look at people like Cedric Harris. Look at people like my man, Melvin Crawley. If you notice, we all are doing the same stuff day in, day out. Income generate activities. Here goes something else you never see. Watch this. Here go a quick gym. You ever see us being negative? Do you ever see us being negative? Are we sitting there just, oh, I didn't get this and I didn't get that off the company. Even if that's how we feel, I'm not going to put that into the universe. I'm not going to spread that out and, and because remember something, negativity spreads faster than positivity any day of the week. So the moment that you start that crap, what happens? Everybody else comes with you. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, they told us we was going to get paid this and now we're getting paid that. Yeah, I know, right? They told us that this will be out by Monday and now it's Tuesday. It's Monday. It's it's already Monday and it's 5 o'clock and they told us to be out at 4 o'clock. What's going on here? It'll just start to spread like a disease. But if you keep things positive, then guess what? You're going to get positive results, okay? The energy that you put out is the energy that you're going to get back. 
So you put out a bunch of that negative energy. You put a bunch of that, whoa, 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 it's me. You keep thinking that you're a failure. You can't make it within this business or this opportunity or this space, period. Then guess what? That's exactly what the universe is going to hand you. It is up to you to take your life in your own hands. It is up to you to be the best you that you can be and to keep things positive, to keep it moving. And guess what? Your downline is going to do what they see you doing. Uh Uh-oh. Wait, what, what? Another gym? Your downline is going to do what they see you doing. So if you're doing nothing, you're going to get nothing. If you do just enough, you're going to get just enough. You got to be willing to do what others aren't willing to do. I get up every day at 4 or 5 o'clock, every single day, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, and I do it without an alarm clock. Every day I am up no later than 5 o'clock. If I get up past 5 o'clock, I feel like I'm getting up late. It could be 5.30. I'm like, oh, man. It's late because guess what I'm doing at six o'clock? I'm on my Peloton. You know why I'm doing this type of stuff? Because I know that at the end of the day that come six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, my phone's going to be ringing. People's going to be trying to get in contact with me. People are going to want to compensate. People are going to want information. People are going to want help. And I'm not going to be able to do my own things. I'm not going to be able to run my own business. So guess what I'm willing to do? I'm willing to get up when other people ain't willing to get up and do what other people ain't willing to do and get more done before the average person even opens up their eyes. How many times you guys opened up your eyes and boom, I already put up a post two hours ago, three, four hours ago. You're like, what the hell? When does Kawan sleep? When do you have time to put this up? I'm up right now and it's six o'clock and this post said it was posted two hours ago. And I live on the East Coast. Kawan's on the West Coast. This is crazy. These are the things that it takes. But check this out. Check this out. Again, we fell in our business because we're going after everybody. We're going after everybody that listen, everybody that's ready to join, everybody that I can send a link to. That's fine. That's okay. But that's not your leader. That's not the person that you're going to inspire to become a leader. That's not the person that you're going to put your all to. You're going to pay attention. And you want to say, you want to give them a test first. Okay, that's what you want to do. You want to give them a test. You might say, okay, well, what kind of test? I can't give them to know if they're a leader. Here goes a test for you guys. Write this down. Here go a gym. Your first gym. I'm gonna give you. Well, ain't your first, but here go another one. So check this out. You go to your potential prospect, right? You say, Hey Ed, you know what? Happy to have you on the team. You know what I mean? No, you just joined. So you can get the most out of your business. I want you to look at this book. I want you to read this book. Go get this book called whatever. Doesn't matter what the book is. Don't have a book. Hey, Eddie. Hey, welcome to the team. I want you to get the most out of this business. So I got this uh, uh, presentation that we have. It's 45 minutes long. You know what I mean? I want you to read it or I want you to watch it. And then let's say hmm, it's Monday. Let's say Tuesday, Wednesday. I reach back out. If it was a book, I give them more time. Let's say Thursday, I reach back out to you and we'll go over some key points about the book and all that. How's that sound? Of course, at the time, they're going to say, oh, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, I'm looking to do that. Let's do it. But you know what? Don't believe what people say. Believe what they do. Action speaks loud in words. So don't base by people going. How many times? Hold on. How many times have you heard somebody say to you? Oh, man. I got I was in this one team and I had uh, uh, I used to be in this one company and I was making X amount of dollars and I had X amount of people on my team. And yeah, if I sign up with you, I'm going to be able to bring all these people, too. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I got the best downline coming. Oh, man, we about to get rich. And then they come in with a fraction of that. Like I said, talk is cheap. I actually speak a lot of words. I got to say it myself. You can show me better. You can tell me. Don't tell it to me. Show it to me. You know what I mean? So what's going to happen is those all these people in the beginning going to say, yep, I'm going to watch. I'm going to get the book. I'm getting it right now. Yep. I'm going to watch the video. Come Thursday, you're going to be very disappointed because 90 percent of those people is going to give you every excuse in the book. And my son will tell you what my other saying is excuses is useless. Like we all got them. Right. So they're going to be like, oh, I had to work late. Then realize I was going to get this all over time. I was tired. No, I worked the graveyard shift. I had no time to uh, to watch the video. Then by the time I did have time to watch it, it was my downtime. So I kind of wanted to watch BMF because, you know, you know, BMF just turned up and I couldn't go without watching that. And, and then, you know, uh, before I knew it, it was Thursday. Okay. Well, 
If you couldn't get this person to commit to watching a 45 minute uh, video or reading a short book, what make you think they're going to run their business? They're going to give you the same excuses when it's time to do what they need to do. They're going to give you the same excuses. Oh, couldn't make it up. Oh, couldn't help that person up. Oh, couldn't do it. It's okay. Let people be who they are. See, I used to get frustrated. I used to rant. I used to, man, like, figure, you can't figure this out. This ain't hard. Okay. It ain't hard to me. Just like jumping from the free throw line went hard for Jordan. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy for you. Most of us ain't going to be able to pull that off. So I need to let people be who they are. Stay where you are. No problem. But when you start seeing these key things in people, when you start seeing the, the skill sets of the Melvin Crawleys, when you see the skill sets of the Ed Banks, when you see the skill sets of the Ryan DePauls, when you see the skill sets of the Sherry Sullivan's, and guess what? Every last one of them is on this, on this live right now. You know how I many people probably peeked in? And peeked out. Oh, I don't see a cat on the wall. I don't see a uh, Kwan uh, showing some food from his trip. I don't see him in Cancun, so I'm not interested. I don't want to know how to run a business. See what I'm saying? Those aren't the people you pay attention to. You pay attention to the people that you see on this call right now because those are the people that's taking their business serious. Those are the people that want something better out of life. Those are the people that's going to do what it takes and go the extra mile. The Carlos Cunninghams, the people that come into their own self and all of a sudden you see them escalating throughout the year. And you know what's funny? As you see them elevating, you just being stagnated, right? You're like this. Have you ever seen a situation where both of y'all start off in the same playing field? Both of y'all start off in the company together. Both of y'all start trying to figure this thing out. Y'all might even went to an event together. Like, man, cool. I'm trying to figure it out. You're like, man, I'm trying to figure it out too. Man, one day I'm going to walk the stage. Man, one day I'm going to walk that stage too. One day I'm going to get one of them nice rings. Man, me too. How many times was you that person in the back of the room instead of the front of the room? Because you didn't have the VIP table. But then all of a sudden, a couple of months, a couple of weeks turn a couple of months. A couple of months turn a couple of years. And that person that was in the back of the room with you is now at the front of the room. That person that was talking about, I'm going to be something one day. He is something now. That person is at the, I was walking on the stage, just getting rings, getting awarded, getting accolades. You're like, whoa, wait a minute. I remember we both was right here. What happened? Why didn't, it, why didn't I get the big break too? Why didn't I? You know what? Because that person went to work. That person did everything that you didn't do. You was just talking. You was talking about it. That person was about it. And you want me to tell you something? That's a true story I just told you. That is a true story. In 90, no, 14, 2014, okay, I made the decision that I was going to be rich. I said I was going to be a top marketer. I said I was going to walk those stages because I was seeing other people do it that I knew what are you doing more that I can't do? And some of these people weren't even desirable. Some of these people had bad attitudes. Some of these people talk to their downline like crap. Some of these people treat their downline like, I'm like, dang, you can maintain a following talking to people like that? You are a top, top, top level marketer. You treat people like this? Dang. You over there screenshotting your conversations and showing what you said in the inbox and just really down, downing people. And yet and still, this person still follow you to the end of the earth. It said a lot to me. I said, it showed me. I mean, just what... I was going to be capable of because if this person could do it, I can definitely do it. Some of you probably been saying even with me, make one over the top, though. He got all that jewelry. He all flashy. He always showing everything. He ain't private at all. He puts all his businesses out there. I wouldn't do it like that. I would do it like this. I would do it like that. Yeah, Kawan cares about jewelry more than he cares about saving the world. Not true, but saving the world. So I'm going to go do more for, for the homeless. And I'm going to spend my life. Either way it goes, some of you are probably thinking how you would do things differently, basically, is what I'm saying. You might be seeing how you might have other skill sets that you could bring to the table that's even stronger than the ones that I'm bringing to the table. You might, And that could be all the motivation you need to say, well, wait a minute. If Kawan can do it with these resources, I can definitely do it with these because we all have something to bring to the table. We all have our gifts. We all have something that makes us special. I don't care what you might think right now. If you really pay attention to your life, we all got something that we do that other people don't do as well. So when you tap into that, that's when you start to have the success that you want. That's when you're going to start seeing growth. That's when people are going to start taking you serious. And it ain't about trying to be a carbon copy of somebody else. Because guess what? People can see through that. I have people that used to copy my every word. I don't care if you copy what I'm doing, but put your spin on it. You can't copy my every single word. You can't copy my own. I have people copy me so bad. They wouldn't even be creative enough to put their own picture on it. They would put, they pay, they copy. They cut out their picture and put it right on top of mine. True story. That's, that's not how you're going to attract. People can see through that. 
or you got the fake it till you make it. You walk around with prop money. You walking around, you know, sitting on someone else's Lambo. You, you know, you just rented one for, at, in Vegas, you know, for just a thousand bucks. You know, no biggie, right? But you're looking like you all that. You think people can't see through that? Be yourself. Be yourself. Everybody has something that other people attract to. Haven't you seen other people? Sometimes you're like, ooh, that person ugly. But guess what? Someone else thinks they're pretty and beautiful. Someone else has married that person. Someone else, you know, got kids with that person. But you might feel otherwise. You might, man, that person ain't for me. It's okay. Everybody don't have to be for everybody. But everybody's for somebody. It happens the same way in business and relationships. It's no different. It's no different. So once you change your thinking, your mindset, you start going like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't need to track everybody no more. That makes your job 10 times easier now because now you're laser focused on looking for leaders. But then the other problem was I can't go get no leader. I'm not where I want to be. OK, cool. That's why we're not looking for them. We're not looking for some arrogant, cocky leader that's already feeling themselves. No way. I know my worth and you're going to have to pay me what I'm worth before I join your opportunity. Not to mention, just keeping it real, if your leader was bought, then what's going to keep them loyal to you when someone else got more money and got a bigger bag to offer them? Uh-oh, another gem. Let me say that again. If your leader that you got, you paid for him, hey, I'll give you $500 extra a month just to join my team. Okay, I'm, I'm there. Shoot, I ain't stupid. All money in, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, what did you say? What did you say, Rick? You said you was going to offer me $600 to join, but this person said five. You said six? Oh, yeah, for sure. I ain't stupid. Well, this is the real world. That's what's going to happen. But let me ask you a question. Same, same case scenario. You create a leader. This person went from zero to hero. You know what I mean? Never made no money before you. You help them retire like DePaul. I help DePaul retire. You know what I mean? Never even don't even work no, no regular nine to five no more. You know, now we having big boy conversations. Like we was talking about doing something yesterday. And I was like, yeah, that person come in for five. I said, what I say? I said, that person could come in for as low as 50. He said, come on, we passed that point. We, we passed that point. That's all I like to hear. You know what I'm saying? Talking like a leader. Man, we passed that point. What are you talking about? We ain't have no $50 conversations. We put in, shoot, a couple thousand or better. See, I create a leader. Somebody got a whole different mindset now. Last opportunity we went, he, he dropped three, three, four Ethereums like it wasn't nothing. Not no, well, let me think about this. Hold on. Let me talk to the wife. I got to talk to the wife first. We got, you know, we got to go through our finances and see if this is going to be a right fit for us. Let me, uh, I don't know. We ain't doing none of that. You know why? Because he has enough trust in me now. He has enough loyalty to me now because I've already showed him the way. I've already showed him how to get it. I've already showed him how to be a boss. And now he's got, he's, he's having a, his house built, $300,000 or better house built. You know what I'm saying? Now he's retired. Now he's got big bank and big money in the bank. He's had multiple ten thousand dollar months, and it started in 2017. Not even that long. You see what I'm saying? Look for people that you can develop into leaders. And when you do that, that's going to make all the difference in your organization. Because guess what that leader is going to do? He's going to duplicate the same thing you just did. And now he's going to go out and find leaders of his own. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did you hear what I just said? So now what happens? Okay, let me show you what happens. I put the Paul in, right? I teach the Paul everything I know. The Paul becomes a top level, a top leader. But guess what I told you? Remember what I told you before? Everybody has their own skill sets too. Everybody got their own stuff to bring to the table. Like my man, Mr. IPTB, that's him. He can do that like bam, bam, like nobody else. That's another skill set. That's something else that he knows about. That's some more knowledge. He might leverage that. To be able to get more people than I could bring. So now the person that he talks to is learning my knowledge because I taught it to him, right? And you're learning the Paul's knowledge. So now you got two sets of things that you're learning. Guess what? That's going to make that person that he's talking to even sharper than the both of us. Because when that person becomes a leader, he knows what I taught the Paul. Plus, he knows what the Paul taught him. And he had his own skill sets. Are you seeing the pattern here? Now. How strong of an organization would you have if you have those type of people in your organization? Again, everybody's not going to measure up to that. Everyone's not going to be able to be that person. And it's OK. It's OK because you don't need everybody to be that person. You need one person to be that person, two people that be that person. And then still start to shield like my man Carl just said. And eventually, ultimately, 
you end up with a powerful organization. This is also the reason why you cannot be just jumping around, oh, jump to this, jump to that, jump to this, jump to that. It doesn't mean you can't keep multiple streams of income. You know, I keep multiple streams, but you notice I secure the bag though. I make sure every single part of a company I'm in, I have a solid organization it starts with the foundation my foundation is solid before i even get into a business i reach out to what i call the round table i got a, a select piece a uh, select hum- matter of fact someone was on right here melvin's part of the round table carlos cunningham's part of the round table ryan depaul's part of the round table shelly sullivan's part of the round table diana everson's part of the round table uh Deneen's part of the round table you know what i'm saying spencer iverson's part of the round table now notice something all them people on right now I didn't have to tag them. I didn't have to give them a heads up. I didn't have to say, hey, Carlos, come to this thing right here and support me. No, they did it because they're the elite of the elites. So when we're starting something, it starts with that core nine or whatever, however many I got. I'm like, hey, guys, we about to run this play. Hey, guys, we about to do it again. You know, we did it in trade there. We did it in Epic. We did it in 7K. We talking about record numbers. We talking about and we we, we, was, we was in trade there. We hit the 10k mark in a month. We was an epic. We did we 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 almost hit the 20k mark. I will say I almost hit the 20k mark in 30 days. But while I'm doing this, these are companies where they're binary, so they gotta be successful too for, in order for me to be successful. And more uh, multiple ones, 10k mark, 5k mark, right out the gate, first 30 days of business. How many businesses you've been a part of? You see people hit the 10k mark in 30 days or less. Why did I say less? Because then it started turning into less. We did the same thing again with 7K. Went to 7K. I hit the silver rank in three weeks. Sherry's hit it in a month. Do you know the 7K? That is $3,500 a week qualified. And I hit it. Why? Because I nurtured a core set of people that I knew will always be down with me. I knew I didn't have to get on some long, boring Zoom and try to convince them to join with the leader of this and the upline of that and uh, show you the back office of this and that to, to really prove that what I'm saying is the real deal. No, I didn't have to do that. I just say, hey, guys, take a look at this. And then, hey, everything in the right fit for everybody. So sometimes they might be like, ah, oh, this one ain't for me. That one ain't for me. But for the most part, most of the time, we about to run the play. And then what happens? Everybody play their position. You know, Mel was going to come in with PowerPoints that's out of this world. You know what I mean? I'm going to come in with sales videos that's crazy. You know what I mean? Sherry going to come in and Carl's going to come in with crazy engagement and dope posts every day that make you say, whoa, what's that? Man, I can go on and on and on. My son Duffy is, is going to make sure that you guys got the best promo flyers to put out there and market the business. You see what I'm saying? There ain't no one man. One man, you know, it's a team. And this is why you're trying. But look it. Did I say a thousand of us? Did I say hundreds of us? Nah. I said a core. Ten. You know what I mean? Nine, five. That's what I said. So think about that now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can do that. I can go find out of all the people. Look it. I got over 2,000 people I put in the now site, and I only chose about 10 people to be in my round table. Let that sink in. I could have put all kinds of people up in there just because they did a little work here or because they got to sell. They are, you part of the round table. You part of the round table. You part of the round table. It don't work like that. I got people like Michael Pendleton in the round table. Somebody that you don't, you see on every single call that's important. If it's important, if it's something that he needs to be, he's there. And then guess what he does? He does the same things that he's learned. Oh, wow. Kawan's micromanaging the team. I'm going to micromanage the team. So where is he? He he labeled himself the motivated marketer. And now he has his own group, his own chat that he makes sure he stays engaged. He makes sure he stays active. He makes sure his people know what's going on at all times. That's leadership qualities. You think his team is not going to be sticky because of that? Or you think they're going to be jumping around with somebody don't give a damn about them? You think they're going to jump around and somebody ain't going to do half the work that he's doing? That would make no sense. This is how you create a loyal following, okay? This is how you create people that you'd be like, dang, like, I know you guys see it. I'll start a company and you'll see some of the same people in every single one. you be like, damn, come on. Like, every single one, I've seen these certain faces, like, they're in everything. I can guarantee you, there's like, I can go with five to 10 people. I'm not going to be in everything I join. Just based off of the respect they have for me and know that I'm no nonsense. I'm about this money and we've been doing this together for too long and we made a bunch of money together. Do that mean everything's going to be a hit? Nope. But 90% of it is. 
And we'll take that 10 percent miss because even in business, you got to take risks. You know what the you know what the market is going to do, not the leader. Every loss they take is going to be a shot to them never doing it again. Oh, see, that's why that marketing thing don't work, man. I lost money. I lost money. Man, you tell me one millionaire or billionaire that didn't lose millions or billions to get to that million or billionaire status. Please tell me one. You think Mark Zuckerberg ain't lost money? You think the owner of Amazon ain't lost money? Tesla ain't lost money? Tesla was down when the pandemic hit. Yeah, I went back up, but it was down. Wasn't AMC almost out of business? Who don't go to movies? Everybody go to movies. How AMC almost go out of business? This is a part of life. But it's all about how you deal with it afterwards. Are you going to cry about it? Are you going to sit there and fuss and, 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 and stress over things you can't change? Or are you just going to, hey, keep on pushing while the pushing is good and utilize that to be a better you? Utilize that to do better business, bigger business. The pandemic birthed the two things. People out of work and people creating jobs for themselves. Because once you got out of work, it made you think now. It was no more that crutch. It was no more trading hours for dollars, just showing up to work. No, 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 no. It said, man, I got to figure something out. If I don't figure something out, we're going to be homeless. Okay, pressure bust pipes. Once that pressure kicked in, you had to go to work. Look how many people, I think this pandemic created more millionaires than the other year. Let's be honest. People became millionaires during a pandemic. My boy Rodney Burton, hats off. Love the guy. Because I know what he accomplished and I know what it took for him to get there. Now, other people might say, look at where he in. That thing a Ponzi. That thing a thick, that thing. Yeah, but you're sitting on the sidelines while this man just showed me he made $2 million in bonuses yesterday. You think he give a damn what you got to say? Put him on every blog you want. Don't give a damn. He made $2 million. You know why? Because he stayed focused. While everybody else is talking about this, the Ponzi. Did you see his behind MLM thing? Did you see that article? And you might have panicked because of that. You might, oh my God, I'm out of here. Oh, 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 oh. And he said, I don't give a damn about that, man. I'm over here doing what I need to do, man. And attracting who I need to attract. Guess what? The people that he attracts, you think they're talking like that? Or they, or they, or they sticking to staying focused and getting to the bag? Don't let these average marketers knock you off your game, especially when they're not even going to be around in the next six months. How many people have talked you out of an opportunity that you know for a fact you could have probably made some serious money with? You know for a fact you could have locked arms with some serious people with. But because you let some, oh, did you see this behind MLM article? Hey, did you see this? And the person that's bringing it to you don't even make money. How are you going to listen to somebody that don't even make money? That's crazy. That's like saying, oh, man, I want to be a race car driver, but I'm going to listen to the person that's in a go-kart. But I want to be a NASCAR racer? You're tripping. If Michael Jordan was to teach you right now how to throw jump shots, you're going to look a gift horse in the mouth and start, well, my coach told me I should have these type of shoes on. I should have that type. And I'm supposed to know the fundamentals. You ain't teaching me the fundamentals. I'm supposed to be doing, you know, but yeah, okay. Well, you do the fundamentals and you'll get the same results as everybody else is doing the fundamentals. Or you can go this unorthodox route and get to where you're trying to get to a lot best, faster and quicker. Which one would you rather have? Just trying to make it make sense to you guys. It all starts with the mindset. If you notice, leaders stay focused. They don't care what the field talking about. I don't care. Unless the field won't pay me right now, change me or pay my mortgage or do like the same person that's talking that mess to you. Ain't about to pay your bills. They're going to get ghosts when stuff get when, when stuff get rocky. Man, the, the company's tripping. Now. Oh, got to go. It was funny. <laughs> I swear. I thought I said, well, I love Rodney. So I watch people. Oh, my God. You see this event? It's just a front for the for the opportunities. And it's just a, it's just it's just this. It's just that. You know what he did? When I had more celebrities come. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh my God! How can uh how can Grant Cardone's wife come to something like this? She don't know any better. Oh my God! We ain't got more. We ain't got more 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 celebrities to come. The documentation, beat conversation, and who cares what people got to say? Yeah, big old scammer. Look at him. Put him on some goofy behind the MLM. You know he was on the next day after that. The Breakfast Club. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you just say the Breakfast Club? Yeah, you on a platform that celebrities is on. 
That's called staying focused. He could have easily got knocked off his game. He could easily say, oh, my God, look what people are saying. Oh, my God, I'm going to mess up my name. I'm going to mess up my brand. And then you went back to being in the same income bracket that you was in. And you would have been, and you would have made $2 million yesterday. I'm not, can you even fathom that? Can you even fathom those type of numbers? $2 million in bonuses. I'm not talking about your pay. That doesn't even include what you're taking out every day. That doesn't even include what you made a month in bonuses. A person that does that kind of number, do you think they give a damn what you got to say about what they're doing? Obviously, somebody believes in the vision. Or you wouldn't have made $2 million worth of bonus. That's a whole lot of people that had to believe in your vision in order for you to make that kind of ca- to make that kind of check. Think like a leader, guys. Stop thinking like a marketer. Okay. 95% of marketers don't make money. 90% of marketers is, is in that. You're only going to put 3.2 people in your business in the course of a year. You heard that? That That's the average. Give me five real fast. Give me a sec. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm getting, I'm getting so worked up. You know what I mean? I'm so animated with this. And get hot, but it's that serious. Matter of fact, hold on fast. Here we go. I'm about to put this fan. Okay. But see, I get passionate with this marketing thing. You know why, guys? Because I'm not no, I'm not your typical marketer that has a nine to five. And this is no shot anybody have a nine to five. You got to do what you got to do. You ain't got to do it no more. So I ain't mad at none of that. But I don't have a nine to five. And then do a little bit of marketing when I come home. This isn't a hobby to me. This isn't this isn't uh, 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 something I just do for 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 shits and giggles. Like, I'm a real marketer, and I make 100% of my money from home. All this got paid for from marketing. So for me, I take it 100% serious. I'm not just here doing just enough. I'm doing everything I can to be successful within the business. I treat it like a business, not a hobby. Some of you guys treat your business like a hobby, and that's, how, that's why you're not having success. Look, he said he turned on the rail today and saw Rodney. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like I said, hats off to the brother because I know his story. He had one year ahead of me and when he came into the game. Let that sink in. One year. We ain't been in the game long. I came into the game in 2012. I think he came in in 2011. And he surpassed some people that's been in the game all their life, 20, 30 years. But it's because of being laser focused. And you know, you want just showing you mindset. We both was in an opportunity at one point in time that for sure was not what it was supposed to be and ended up crashing. But we was new. We didn't know any better. It was 2017. Crypto was new. So it wasn't regulated yet. So we didn't know what to look out for. And we got caught up. A lot of people was in the company. It was real big. The biggest successful probably company and got away with getting over on people without having no reproduc- repercussions and it cost a, it cost a lot of relationships it cost a lot luckily i was able to come out still on top and not like piss a bunch of people off or have people tripping on me or none of that so due to that fact i was like okay you know what kawan you're lucky you mess your name up but i'm done with this type of stuff i'm never messing with no more crypto if i buy crypto i'm just gonna buy and hold it but i'm not getting into part of no more information i'm not getting part of no uh uh, uh uh, uh, no more uh, 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 opportunities. I'm just going to take my money, blah, 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 blah. Thinking like a marketer. A boss would have did just like Rodney did. And a lot of people that's on his team right now said, hey, man, okay, that was a bad opportunity. That was a bad situation. But that's not going to stop the ultimate goal and vision, which is to get rich beyond all, all means with this crypto. So we're going to stay focused. Yeah, we're going to find something else. We're going to still put in the grind. So when they did find something else, guess what I'm doing? Looking to get forced in the mouth. How many of you guys do that? Just because you didn't have success in one company, now you're going to treat every other company like it's the same as that company. Like just because one company did you one way, oh, man, what the hell with marketing? How many people heard that? Oh, I don't like MLM. MLM don't work. Only the people at the top make money. Oh, la, 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 la. 
That's what you start hearing because they're bitter because they joined something and they didn't get the results that they wanted. See, it cost me. It cost me. Do you realize that the same company that Rodney's in that he made the two million yesterday in bonuses? I've been in that company since December. Scared to talk about it though, right? So I'm just in there by myself, just making my own money, just letting it do what it do. But I'm not, I'm not, I have recruited a soul, not one person. And I'm a top marketer. I have recruited not one person because I'm still nervous of what happened in 2017. And you know what he told me? Well, nice comments ever. Yeah, Kawan, you would have been, you'd already made a million dollars in this company if you had just pushed when I told you to. If you would have just, re, re, if you had just shared this when I first told you over, over a year ago. You'd be a millionaire right now, at least with, from this company. Like you'd, be, you'd have made over a million dollars with this company alone. And even that still wasn't enough for me. Yeah, I don't want to mess up my name. I don't want to mess up my brand. I think that as soon as I join, the thing going to crash. And then it's going to be like 2017 all over again. Oh, man, you know, you just keep on saying, yeah, okay, you keep thinking that as I keep on making this money. And all I did was watch this man's money go up, 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 up. Now he's making like $2 million a month. $40,000 a day. Easy. How many of you guys watched the same thing happen, but with me? How many of you guys said, oh, shoot, dang, me and Kawan on the same level right now. Look at Kawan trying to, I see Kawan struggling over there trying to get it. I see him. I can tell you ain't there yet, but but yeah, good job. He's, he's, he's active, but he ain't where you want to be. How many of you guys seen? If you ain't seen it, I don't erase nothing. Go down my timeline, type in uh, uh, old posts and put in something like 2017, 2000. Yeah, let's, let's go back even further than that. Let's go 2015, 2016, 2014. Go to those, and you're gonna be like, Oh my god, am I looking at the same person? Videos look like this, no lighting, you know, I can't turn the rest off, but videos look like crap. I'm looking ghetto as hell, looking like I'm straight from the streets because I'm originally from the streets, right? So I'm, I'm looking like I'm from the streets, you know, I'm gonna keep it real. Look, I just jumped straight from the streets onto the internet. Some of the things I'm saying, I'm probably, I'm probably turning some people off. Like, dang, like a little harsh. But now look where I'm at today. Look where I'm at today. How many of you guys probably watch me the same way I watch Rodney and say, damn, man, like all I had to do was just take action. All I had to do is just believe, and it don't matter what non-factor say. Let me say it again. It does not matter what a non-factor says. You know who's a non-factor? The person that joins your team and ain't even going to stick around long enough to even make a dent in nothing anyways. Oh, my God. Here's an even worse non-factor. The person that don't even join your team but got all these opinions. they the ones that's all on your posts, all in the comments. They, they quick to tell you why something's a scam. They're, 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 they're reposting what they might have seen online, some, some article or some behind MLM crap. This person ain't even spent one dollar with you. And you're giving, you're giving them that type of power. You're giving them that type of energy. You're making this person God over you. That's crazy. That's crazy. Think about that for a second. This person don't even make or break your situation at all. But yet, and still here you are giving them that much energy. That much power, that much control over you and what you got going on. You do the opposite of that. Bosses hang with bosses. I bet y'all wouldn't have been scared to pull a trigger if I wasn't looking at a bunch of non-factors and I was in that circle. See, this is the reason why you go to events. This is the reason why you go to uh, 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 conferences. You know why? Because then you get to weed out the people that ain't really doing nothing, that ain't going to do nothing. You weed out the people that's going to be the the, 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 the Debbie Downers and always got to show you everything negative instead of showing you something positive. You weed out the people that look at their cups half empty instead of half full. And now... You're left with the creme de la creme. You're, 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 you're left with the people that know it take money to make money. You're left with the people that don't get distracted and knocked off their game. They can care less if you posted about them on some shady blog or whatever the case may be. They can care less about that. They see the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is to stay focused, continue doing what you're doing if it's working. And that's another thing. How are you going to stop something that's working? That's like trying to stop a moving train. Like, how are you going to stop something that's already moving? It's already in motion. 
It's full speed ahead. And here you is on the track. So about stop, stop. You about to get ran over. You are about to get ran over. And that's why people like the Rodney's in the game are running over people. My other nigga, my other dude, Greg Pajel. Like I said, you're not going to go through this game unscathed. I'm sorry. It comes with being in this in this space because everybody's trying to. It's so much that's out there. It's hard to 100% vet everything and know exactly how something's going to play out or know what company is going to stand the test of time or know that what owner is not a shady owner or who's or what owner is not greedy or who's going to mess up the comp now, who's just not even qualified to run a business. You ain't going to know all these things from getting an affiliate link. So stop being an emotional marker. You're being emotional about something you don't even own. Like the guy, look at my timeline. What are you going to do now, Kwan? I hope change the price. What are you going to do now? You know what I told that person? You know, I'm not going to transparency. If you're going to say it's on my wall, then I can say this now in public. You know, put you out there. But I said, well, I hope used to be a paid model. Okay. You had to pay to get in. Then they went to a free model. And now they're going back to paid. And you're saying they lied to us. They lied to us. Okay, okay, hold on, wait a minute. So I want to ask you the question. Did you have that same energy when it was reverse? When you was paying and they lied and switched it to free, did you throw your hands in the air complaining? Hey, hey, you told us we was going to pay. Why are you giving it to us for free? No, you didn't, did you? So don't start having that energy now that they went back to the original model they even started with. At the end of the day, you got to realize that you have no control over a company that you do not own. You have no control over what another boss does with their business. Your job is just to say it's either for you or it's not, period. All the rest of that stuff is wasted energy. At the same time, that it takes you to write a post and start ranting and, oh, my God, and try to rally up to all the people that's going to be hating. Man, you could be just focusing on your business. You could say, oh, well, it used to be free. Oh, well. Is that going to, is something as little as that going to knock you off your game? Hey, for some of us, it is peace and blessings to you when it do. But I'm not built like that. And that's what separates the winners from the losers. How many times you've been in an opportunity and you've seen somebody rejoin multiple times? Same opportunity. Left. Came back three months later. Left. Came back six months later. Left. Came back a year later. You're like, you know what? Every time that you left, you had to come back and start from scratch. Imagine had you just planted your flag from the beginning and just stayed here. Don't matter if it got rocky. It's going to get rocky sometimes. Don't matter if it was a storm. It ain't always sunny. It's going to rain. Sometimes it's going to rain. Even in California, it's going to rain sometimes. But when it do rain, are you going to cry about it? Are you going to be like, man, it was sunny all month and now it's raining. Man, this is crazy. What? Man, I came here to go to the beach and it's raining. Man, I'm out of here. I'm done with California. I ain't never coming back. Only to find out that as soon as you left, the sun came out. But you panicked. You got emotional. So you left California. Didn't even get to see the pre-beach the next day. That's how you look in marketing when you sitting here jumping, jumping, jumping over every little emotional thing that happened. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. And you ain't even got no real reason for leaving. It's like little petty stuff, like the comp plan change, or you know, you didn't like you didn't like this feature or that feature didn't work like you thought it was gonna work. Sometimes you might quit from one little thing and everything else is working, but forget everything else that's working. Let's just focus on the one thing that's not. How many times have you seen that? People got all these different things to focus on, so much positive things you can focus on, and you're steady focusing on the one thing that don't work. So back to the topic at hand, look for leaders, guys. Because these are marketers. These are the real reasons why 95% are failing. Because I guarantee you 95 ain't doing enough. If you think I'm lying, just go through your own downline and just watch them. Just, just watch them. Just watch them. And watch how disappointing they're going to be. <laughs> You're going to be like, oh, my God. You can give them every tool in the book. Man, I can give you a blueprint. I can give you every tool. I can give you the wood. I can give you the concrete. And still people will not build the house. Most people got a three little pig mentality. Very few are going to build their business out of brick. 
Hey, they want to take the shortcut. It's going to be a bunch of twigs. Sticks. Hey, that's what you're going to get. And on a bad day, on a hard day, it's going the whole foundation going to get knocked down. And what they got to do? Rebuild, re-strategize, restack up. But the smart pig that built this house out of stone, the person that built their marketing organization downline out of stone, brick by brick, oh, that person is going to be successful. That person is going to have the ultimate success. That person is building their foundation first, worrying about the money later. Do you realize that network marketing is the only opportunity where people expect instant gratification? Nothing else in life you have that. You have those expectations. Let me let that sink in again and make it make sense. Okay, watch. You decide you want to do hair, cosmetology, right? You know that you're going to be taking this for the next six months to a year. You're not going to be getting paid. Actually, it's the opposite. You're going to pay to go auto ship. Yeah, Mark, we're going to make it relate to marketing, marketing, auto ship. You're going to pay to go in hopes and one day striking it big and making money, marketing, hit that magic number that you always wanted to hit, right? And you're going to be making price scraps here and there, which is your tips because that's it because you're not qualified yet. You're not certified, but you're going to be working. And guess what you're going to do? You're going to do it with a smile. You're going to go to college for the next four years. You're going to put yourself in debt for maybe 20 or 30, but you're doing it in hopes that in four years, you're going to go four years, minimum of two for associates, right? Four, two to four years to get a degree and then possibly get a job. Still no guarantees because you want the only smart person in your class. So when you say, I'm going to be a doctor, well, guess what? You had 12 other people in your class too trying to be a doctor and they're all going for the same position at the same hospital up the street in your community how many people gonna get the, think gonna get the job how many heart surgeries in one hospital but you're willing to go through the storm you want to be a, a doctor you want to be a lawyer you want to be any of them things Woo, you're about to put in a lot of schooling and on top of that schooling you're going to pay a lot right and you know you're not getting paid nothing until you actually learn the business if you started karate, start today. Do you expect to be a black belt tomorrow? And then when you don't quit, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Nope. Mm -mm. I ain't a black belt yet. This is crazy. Mm -mm. It's crazy. Nope. But with marketing, though, you join today. You better be making Kwan money tomorrow. You out of here, man. Like, Bob, look, Kwan made 14000 in this company. I better make that same fourteen. If I don't make that fourteen, I'm out of here. It ain't working. What? I just joined and I ain't got 100 people on my team yet? Oh, it's just crazy. I'm out of here. I didn't waste the whole $47. It costs you less to go to, to, to market your business for a whole year than it costs. Matter of fact, you can go. It costs you less to be to pay your auto ship in any one company for the next five years than it takes to go to school for one. Let that sink in. So let me ask you a question. If right now you knew there was a school, right, that you can go to. And when you went to that school. Right. Watch this. We about to really get busy now. Watch this. You went to that school. All right. And when you went to that school, they said, look, in a year, you got you got to put in the work. But in a year, you guarantee ten thousand dollars a month. Are you going to be making up to ten thousand dollars a month? How many people do you think be signing up for that school? It would be a waiting list in so long. It probably stretched from Las Vegas to California. Like you wouldn't even be able to get you wouldn't be able to even get in that class. Everybody in mom be in there in line with a smile. Oh, I can't wait. And, and then in a year's time, I'm gonna be making like 10k a month. Okay, well, that's how marketing works. It's gonna take time. You got to develop your skill set. You're gonna have to, you know, it's gonna take time for you to get to the bag. But my question is this: if that's all you had to do, if all you had to pay is some little 47 dollars a month, that is not even 600 dollars a year. If that's all you had to pay, right? If that was all it took, your commitment, you're trying to tell me right now, if you can go to school for six or $700, and at the end of that, you was making five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month, it's not worth it? So why do you want to look at marketing like that? It's actually less commitment, if you really think about it. It's way more commitment to go to school, way more uh, uh, financially draining, way more no guarantees. You guarantee the paper on your wall, you are not guaranteed a job. So when people be talking the same crap with marketing, I'm like, well, why do you don't have that same energy for everything else you're doing in, in life? You don't put those same stipulations in yourself with everything else. Why are you doing it here? Mindset, guys. Think like a leader. Think like a boss. And you'll have boss-like results.
You keep thinking like a marketer, your typical marketer. You want to be the marketer that just hands you links in your inbox that act that, that 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 send you fake friend requests and act like they're really here for just to be your friend. Is that what you is that what resonates with you? You think that that right there is going to get you to the promised land faster? You're just going to jump people in by Hey, how you doing? My name's Kwan. You know, I just want to, you know, talk to other like minded, uh, you know, marketers. I saw you as a marketer. So I was like, hey, I'm a marketer. And hey, wouldn't you like to be a marketer, too? So I just said hi. And they can't even help themselves. They they can't even they can't even fake it and go hmm, a few hours, a few days right away. What comes after that? So what do you do? Wait a minute. I thought you just looked at my page and saw I was a marketer. Why are you asking me what I do? You, you're supposed to know what I do already. But hey, I'll bite. I'm a marketer. Oh, really? Well, do you keep your options open? Up here we go. You ever heard of Bitcoin? I know you guys got it in your inbox. You ever heard of Bitcoin? Oh, shit, here we go. Hey, you ever heard of Bitcoin mining? Why didn't you just get to the point right away? You know why? Because that is that corny, lame, same old marketing crap that's been taught to every other 95% of marketers that don't have a clue of what to do. Have you ever seen Kwan? Okay, you guys follow me. Have I ever been in your inbox? Did I just jump in your inbox out the blue? Hey, guys, you got to look at this. Hey, 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 hey. Stop what you're doing because I'm about to ruin. You got to look at this right now. Never. Not once. Actually, I'd be hurting myself sometimes. I've had leaders reach out to me and say, Kwan, why didn't you uh, tell me about this? You know, I didn't know you was in this opportunity. I would have definitely joined with you. Why didn't you tell me? I'm like, man, because I'm not that guy that's going to be bugging you in your inbox. I feel once I post to my wall, you see it. And if it resonates with you, you'll reach out to me. If not, peace and blessings to you. But I am not that guy. Hey, hey, hey. God, I, I need you to take a look at something. Some of you guys do it. And, it, and it's crazy because you don't even contradict what you're doing. Like you'll say, hey, Kawan, I know you're busy. I know you probably spend time with the wife right now. But I want to show you something. There's no but after that. What do you mean? If you know I'm busy, you know I'm spending time with my wife, why would you be trying to send a link to me? Why are you bothering me at 9, 10 o'clock at night when you know I'm up all day? And I clearly told you, and anybody that knows me knows that I get up at 4 in the morning. If you know I get up at 4 and 5 in the morning, why wouldn't you have enough respect and enough, can't think of the word right now, but you know, just to know that eh, it's probably not the smartest to contact this person right now. But you know why? Because you're desperate for a sale. You're desperate. And it shows when you do that type of stuff. So I'm not opposite of that. I'm not going to bug you. I'm not going to be calling you at, uh, at, at odd hours of the day and night. I'm not going to be throwing links down your throat. I'm going to put it on my own paw, on my own wall, and then let you make uh, a, a, a calculated decision for yourself. But that has hurt me. I have lost many leaders because of that. Because I didn't jump in the inbox and just keep it real with them and say, hey, this is what I got going on. I could have easily did it just based off of the respect that I have now. But that is something that remember I say respect is earned. You don't just get respect. It's earned. So if you don't earn the respect, no one's just going to say, hey, you know what? Based off of who you are, which is nobody yet, I'm just going to just start seeing what you got going on. No, you got to work that out. You got to build that rapport. And then once you do, then you can just be the guy that sits back and people come in your inbox. Hey, come on, what you got going on, man? I see you posted something on your wall. I, I want in. But that comes from being consistent. That comes from helping others reach where they're trying to reach. That comes from not being a selfish marketer. That comes from not thinking that it's all about you being arrogant and cocky. Now, I'm super confident, but I'm not cocky and arrogant. Because if I was, it'd be all about me. I'd be selling everything. I wouldn't give nothing away for free. It would just be 100% about what I can gain. What can I gain out of this situation? What can I get from you? And that's not the case. Anybody that's been on my team, anybody that's known me, knows that, oh, no, he's the opposite of that. He's the opposite. He's trying to give him what he can get. I had people tell me I'm stupid and crazy for giving access to my elite university for free. It's over $600 in income generating training. I'm giving it to you for free just for joining my team and spend a little bit of money in one of my opportunities. And then you get that for free. Any other top level market would be up selling the hell out of you. Hey, if you want access to my university, you can get that for $9.97. And I wouldn't even be wrong for doing it, to be honest with you. And I'll weed out the tie kickers and the people that take it for granted. Because now that you paid $9.97, you're going to make sure you get $9.97 worth of value. Maybe that's what I need to do. See? Because guess what? A leader ain't going to cry about it. You, the, the small marketer, oh my God, $9.97? That's expensive. 
Oh my God, I can't afford that. You know what the leads are gonna do? Oh shoot, this 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 must be it must be some real gems up in there. If you're if you're charging nine ninety seven for that, there's gotta be some real heat up in there. Yeah, yeah, I want to see what you got. Yeah, mindset. See when people see, I hate the the mindset when they say, "Oh, yeah, why you why gotta make you cry?" But I do understand it to a certain degree. I just don't like when people say that, and then afterwards, they don't teach you how to get to the bag. I feel like that's wrong. You can't tell people it's just mindset and being positive because all you're gonna have then is just a positive marketer. That's it. You have a person that thinks good, got great affirmations every day, and you know, and got a nice whiteboard with their goals and all that. But none of that generates income. Income. Teach people how to generate income along with that mindset. Don't just teach mindset. I, I hate that. I'm going to spend thousands of dollars to go to your little GoPro or whatever event. I'm going to sit up in the audience and all I'm going to learn is mindset. You think I don't know that already? You think I'm not passionate yet? If I wasn't passionate, I wouldn't be at your event. Let that sink in. If a person didn't already tap into their why and all that, they would not spend thousands of dollars and travel outside a city, state, country to an event. Think about it. It's almost like oxymoron. It's like, wait a minute. So I got on the plane from Malaysia, flew to you, flew to the states, spent thousands of dollars to come to this event and hotels and and, and 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 transportation, only to be told that I have to change my mindset and I have to tap into my why. Uh, duh. Do you don't think I've done that already? I, I wouldn't be here. So that's why that, that makes me cringe when I see that's, that's all you got to offer. These are top level marketers that made over 15 million in the, in the field. And, you know, you got Tony Robbins and all that. And that's the best that you can offer me right now is my why got to make me cry. No, this event is making me cry. This is a bunch of nonsense. You're talking a good game. And talk is cheap. How many of these events have you went to and afterwards you still was on the same page? You probably don't went to the GoPro. You probably don't went to 10X, Grant Cardone. You seen a bunch of celebrities on stage. You seen a bunch of people. Oh, man, you're like, oh, I'm hype. I'm hype. Woo. You went home. You bought the big old packages in the back of the room. You know what I'm saying? You all in, man. This is it. This is what I've been waiting for. Look at these billionaires telling me how to become billionaires. Look at these millionaires telling me how to get my millions. Man, I'm all in. So you spend thousands, thousands of dollars at these events. You buy all this promo material. You buy a bunch of books from the marketers and stuff. Oh, my God. I'm about to be rich. And then, bam, you're back to where you started. Because they didn't teach you no income generating training. You know it will be a lot better? And that's why my elite retreats, this is what I teach. You know what's, you know what's better than that? Actually teaching people how to get money. Actually doing some workshops. Imagine you go to one of those events. You still pay 1000 to go, 3000 five. But the difference is you guys are doing workshops. You guys are doing something tangible. Like when I do mines in 2022, you know what you're going to get in my event? You're not going to get a bunch of people hyping you up. Woo, come on, come on, let's go. You're not going to get that. Yeah, we're going to make it a party still, but you know what you're going to get? You're going to get, like I can really tell you some of the things we're doing. Everybody that comes is going to start the LLC right there. Not when you go home, because we know once you go home, you're not going to do nothing probably. No, right there. We're going to set up your LLC. We're gonna sell, we're gonna get your Dun and Brad Street number going. What's the Dun and Brad? Oh, that's your business credit. How many people are on your line keep talking about your credit, your credit, your credit? It's about personal credit, but you're in business. It doesn't even make sense. Why do they teach you personal credit when you can have business credit and let your business pay for anything? And then if the business goes under, guess what? It doesn't mess up your personal credit. Oh, but see, they're not teaching you that at these events, are they? They're not teaching you this is at these mindset events, these GoPros. No, no, no. They're not teaching you that, but we will be teaching you that. You'll have a photo shoot right there on the spot. And I don't probably get up so much game. Somebody probably writing this stuff down, probably gonna copy me. Like, oh man, we need to do this stuff, but I don't even care because I just want to show you the difference, the level of when someone really cares about your well being and really trying to see you hit the top, and when someone just blowing a bunch of smoke up your butt. So, you have a real photo shoot right then and there, not for the sake of just taking pictures. Are we? No. Not for those. Yeah, you'll get those too. But we're talking about pictures for your headshots, for your photo shoots, for your websites. Oh, wait a minute. That's a little bit different. Everybody's going to walk away with a, a website that brands them, a YouTube channel that's branding them, P banners on their channel. Right. Wait a minute. This is a different kind of event, Kwan. This ain't our typical somebody's on stage just feeling themselves. Kwan, just a. Hey, guys. Uh, 
So let me tell you my rag to riches story. So I started when 2011, when I came home from prison and then I changed my life around because it's all about me, 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 me. And yeah, you guys really give a damn about me, 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 me so much that you jumped on a plane and you, you, you stayed at an expensive hotel and you paid for these big old tickets just to hear about me. Really? No. Yeah, that helps my brand all day. It does build my brand. I appreciate you guys for coming. But that ain't what you really came for. You came to learn how to make money. See the difference? And when you become that type of person now, let's, let's all break it down. You become that type of individual. Do you really think it's going to be hard to get sales? See, most of us ain't spend that type of time on ourselves. Spend some time on yourself. Spend so much time on developing yourself that people can't help but be on your team. People can't help but be in your presence. People can't help to pick your brain. And what you're going to create is a whole bunch of mini use after that. And from there, you're going to see your downline grow, your money grow, your back office grow. Everything's going to grow. If you don't believe it, just look at the people that came before you. That's all you got to do. Look at the people that came before you. Look at the people that's already successful and see what it was three years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. And I guarantee you, you'll be very, very impressed. Go look at Rodney Burton when he was Rodney Bird coming straight from the basement. Yeah, that was his grandmother's basement. Now it's Rodney Byrne coming to you from wherever I'm at in the world. Dubai, Malaysia, blah, blah, blah. But it started off in the basement. How humbling was that? Mine started out with no lights, no fancy mic, no fancy computer, none of that. No, 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 no DSLR camera. No, it was a phone. You know what I mean? It was my computer's uh, 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 webcam. Crappy lighting. No good background. It was no good, nice little background scenery. None of that. Bad teeth. Okay. I was born when I was young. I was born with gap. To, nope. Screw it. I was born with my baby teeth like everyone else. But as I got older and I got grown, um, my, 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 my baby teeth didn't come out. So now I had baby teeth and a grown mouth with made what? Spaces. So I had spaces in my teeth all my life. Looking like I had missing teeth in actuality, I just didn't have my grown-up teeth. So I had spaces all my life. Now, let me ask you a question. How many people you think would have jumped online and got in front of a camera like that? Got in front of a camera. And then you're trying to convince people that you're getting money. Do you know the first thing that you're probably thinking that they're thinking is, well, wait a minute. If you're getting money like that, why don't you fix your teeth? Doesn't make sense. That doesn't add up. You see, you see where we're going with this? See, you got to be one to just jump all in. You got to be one to go all in. It don't matter what other people think about you. What do you think about yourself? Because if you carry yourself like a winner, you're going to be a winner. What did Biggie Smalls tell you? Black, fat, ugly as ever. However, <laughs> however, who would call himself black, fat, and ugly as ever? You know what kind of confidence you got to have to call yourself black, fat, ugly as ever. And then follow up with, however, I stay Gucci down to the socks, wings and rocks filled with white. Like, yeah, you ain't tripping because you know. And then what he ended up doing because he had that confidence. He had two of the baddest females in the game at that time fighting over him. You had Little Kim and Faith Evans, both of them at the top of the game at that time. Fighting over a black, fat, ugly as ever, man. Confidence. Know what you're capable of. Know what you're willing to bring to the table. Know what you can do and, what you, and, 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 and keep them blinders on. Because always going to be some hater trying to knock you off your square. 
It's always gonna be somebody who wants to. Did you see that behind it? Big M L M article. Hey, you know, Quan used to be in prison at one point in time, right? I don't know if you want to be following this guy. Is it true that he used to have two girls too? Like, like you're gonna be hearing some of the worst of the worst stuff because you know what people do? They become professional Googlers. Like we all ain't got Google. They gonna sit there and show you something like you don't already know it. Ninety percent of the time we already know, right? You think I ain't seen the same behind the MLM article that you see? Come on, man. We all marketers. I see the same thing you see. If you spent that same amount of energy googling your business, think about how much how successful you'll be. If you spent that same amount of time googling how to be a successful marketer, how to make more money online, how to have the best YouTube channel, how to post and get engagement. Yeah, use some same Google fingers. Think about it, how much more successful they would be. Think about how much more successful they would be. But no, remember, negativity spreads faster than positivity. So guess what they're going to do? Focus on all the negative. All the negative. How many times you see people say, oh, my God, this guy's falling over the littlest things, littlest things. We say we're going to march. Monday, we end up marching Tuesday. Oh, my God, it's in the world. Oh, oh. you said Monday. It's Tuesday. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is what you're dealing with but you gotta identify that type of person you gotta say okay this ain't the leader this ain't gonna be my leader and i'm not gonna even waste my time with this person right now i'm not even gonna waste my time with this type of energy okay this ain't the person that i'm looking that i'm looking to to to, to, to be my next person i'm gonna mentor see what i'm saying this is how you're gonna save yourself time this is how you're gonna save your time, uh, save yourself from wasting. Because I'm gonna tell you something like my own stories. Like right? it's been people that I put my all into. I tell man, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Like, I'm gonna help you become a leader. And it been it was the most draining thing I ever done. I've done this already with a couple people, and they just wasn't fit to be a leader. So they so they don't they don't do what I'm telling them to do. You know, they want to think that they got all the answers, even though they ain't never made a damn dime online yet. But here it is. They got the answers. They want to second guess what I'm telling them. And I'm just sitting there like, oh, wow. So you're going to second guess somebody is already where you want to be at. You're going to second guess somebody. That'd be like, that'd be, again, I just keep going my boy. But I'd be like, I want to really learn and dive into crypto. And I'm going to second guess everything that the crypto guy is telling me. He named himself after crypto, but I'm going to act like I know more than him because I'm a marketer, though. Okay, but that's not your lane. You're not a crypto guy. So why are you going to talk to the crypto guy like you know more than the crypto guy knows? It's stupid. I'm taking my car to the mechanic. Why? Because I don't know how to fix cars. But once I take my car there, I'm going to second guess everything he tells me. You need new tires. I don't think I need new tires. I got here just fine. Why well, need new tires? You need a new oil change. Why? I got oil in there. It's good. I put oil in there last week. Yeah, but it's black. Isn't oil black? What other color is oil? The oil was black. What the hell? Like, that's what you look like when you're second guessing people. That's already where you want to be. If any top level marketer shared anything with me, I probably wouldn't even say too much. But how do I sign? But you guys asking me in two questions. I remember I put somebody into a free program last week. This man asked me so many questions. I said, look, brother, no, all due respect. But I'm not jumping through this mean hoops and asking all these questions for a program that costs you nothing but it earns you something. Quit looking to give horse in the mouth and join or don't. But I'm not jumping on no Zoom call. I'm not going above and beyond for a free program. Why are you even looking free in the mouth? Free 99. If you rather pay something, I have something that you can pay for right now. But please make it make sense. Why are you wasting my time right now? Guys, don't let people waste your time. Know your worth. And I know I'm real straight to the point. I know I'm real blunt. But you know why? Because you have to be sometimes. You have to be. Otherwise, these people will use your energy. Oh, my God. You will get burnt out and still end up with no leader on your team. Just somebody that's going to stick around for three to six months. So, that's what I got for you guys today. Hey, guys, you see that scam me right there? Or right here? Boom, there you go. See that? Let me show you what that's all about, man. So, check this out. And again, it's not going to cost you anything. I'm just helping you out, okay? Dropping these nuggets, all right? So, here it goes. Check this out. Let me show you what this is all about. Coinbase, 
guys, you always want to be ahead of things, not behind it. Coinbase is launching their own NFT platform. Okay. You need to join the waiting list right now. As you can see, look at this number. But I'm going to show you another number that's already changed. See, my rank was over 2 million, and now it's 3,000 because I've already shared with enough people. So my recommendation is to click that QR code, scan it, okay? And then afterwards, get your link and get the sharing. Okay? There you go. I'm, 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 I'm helping you out. Whatever you guys do with it, that's what you do. You know what I mean? But know that we are in the future, guys. Things are changing at a rapid pace. This is another thing. The way we market now is not going to be the way we market tomorrow. I guarantee you. This metaverse and what's coming is coming at lightning speed. And we are going to be in a whole new place, a whole new world, a whole new way of doing business. Imagine being in a virtual world doing business like this face to face. It's going to be different. And the smart people is not going to wait until it become a household thing. Don't wait till the Internet is the Internet. You want to be in now and go. Okay. You got mail. You want to be in at that stage. You remember them days? You got mail. When it was no Facebook or MySpace, none of that, you was in little chats. Remember the little chat rooms? Remember that? Remember, remember AOL chat? That's where it all started. And now look where we're at now. We're over there doing business on live videos and, and streaming and all this stuff. Guys, be ahead of it. Because I guarantee you, when all this stuff starts to come, and it's going to come fast, fast. And when it comes, it's going to be so many different new things. And the algorithm is going to be so loose because they want us to adapt to it fast and that's the time to take action. It's not when everyone's doing it. It's not when, you know, it's too late and the algorithm's all tight. And when you post now, it only goes to a fraction of your people. You don't want that. You want to be ahead of it. So these are also reasons why you want to start planting now. You want to start paying attention to what's going on around you. You want to see the change and be part of the change. Okay? This is also leadership qualities. Being able to recognize change and be part of the change. A lot of people are getting things too late. Buy Shiba when it's all the way up to the top. Buy Bitcoin when it's rising instead of dropping. But again, part of NFTs when everybody already is doing it and then it's too late. So my recommendation is to take advantage, again, of this platform, okay? Scan that QR code. Be on the waiting list. So when it comes, even if you don't understand right now, you might be saying, come on, what's the NFT? You know what? To do this. Go here now. We'll talk about it later. It's that serious. Because why? It costs you nothing. So anything that costs you nothing, but you don't do and can earn you something is a no brainer every time. And hey, if anybody don't see that vision, I don't know what else to tell them. You know what I mean? This is how I built my career. It's from paying attention to trends, paying attention to what's going up, getting involved with key people and block the haters. I know it was probably a time when you probably wanted to get on TikTok. You know, because you heard it was popping. You heard that it was the quickest way to go from zero to hero. It was the quickest way to go from no followers to a million followers in a fraction of a time. That will take you, unlike Facebook and, 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 and YouTube and all these other platforms, you can't really do it that, that easy. But you can do it easy on TikTok. And then what happened? A hater came and said, that app is made in China. That app is made in China. While talking on their phone made in China, while uh, brushing their hair with a brush from China, while uh, eating some food out of a bowl made from China, while driving a car with parts made from China. Yeah. Mm hmm. Why are things backed up right now? Because a lot of things are sitting in the port, right? From where? China. Hey, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to do a test? Go in your house right now. Take everything out of your house that's made from China and let's see how well you live. Yeah, go do that test right now. Oh, uh, these are probably gonna have to go too. Your shoes? Yeah, go look on. Go look under your shoes right now. See where they're made. Taiwan or, or China. And then go look at the shoes that's made in America. Let me see if you gonna wear those uncomfortable things. I'm just trying to make it. I'm just trying to make it make sense to you guys. But you see what happens when you let a hater get into your ear, and now they might have kept you from being successful. They might have kept you from being able to take it to that next level, being on TikTok, having an early shot, and then you didn't take action. And you say, like, look, even Trump is better in the app. Well, how did, all, how did that all play out? Because now the app is still here. You could have had, had a year head start. You could have been making content last year. But instead, you jump, you fell into the propaganda of it's from China. China is going to steal our identities and our big, oh, my God, they want our data. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How many people you see can't get started with their business because of big, bad Mark Zuckerberg? Oh, my God. Big Bag Mark wants all of our information. Oh, my God. There's no privacy. Oh, my God. Do you see what's going on? And they're ranting about Facebook on Facebook. 
Make it make sense. Make it make sense, guys. That's like coming to my house, having dinner, and talking crap about the place that you're eating on, the food that you're eating while eating my food. How are you going to come into my house and talk about my house in my house? If you don't like Facebook that much, then leave. It's simple. You know what I mean? Don't use it. Delete the app. It's simple. But to get on Facebook, ranting about Facebook is dumb. I'm sorry. It's dumb. And then you're blocking your blessings. Because unless you're some drug dealer doing something wrong, are you really that important anyways? Who cares? I don't even care if they know what I'm doing. Oh, my God. Come on. You know they're tracking you, right? Okay, I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't care, bro. They already have everything. You didn't realize the last four or five apps that you downloaded said some compromising crazy stuff in the terms of service? Because you didn't pay attention to that. You just said, download, got it. Well, why don't you go look at the terms of service? We can look at your pictures. We can look at your posts. We can track what you're doing every day. That's every app, guys. This is the world we're living in right now. Adapt or die. Take, accept it or don't. Accept it or reject it. Go live off the grid. But if that's not what you want to do, stop wasting your time ranting on Facebook, about Facebook, while on Facebook. It's hurting your marketing. Instead, why not utilize the tools to your advantage? Why not look at it class half full? Well, wait a minute. If we can track people now, is that what you're telling me? So wait a minute. So if we can track people, we can use that same technology for our own advertising. You act like big old bad markets, the only person that can advertise and use this stuff to their advantage. So why you can't use it now? See, this is how a leader thinks. See, the marketer thinks, oh, my God. They're tracking everything. I don't even use the messenger app. Uh uh. Mark ain't going to get me. Okay. You know what the leader says? Oh, shoot. I could track a bunch of people that's like me. I could use Facebook to put out an ad to attract other marketers like myself, bypass the people that's going to ask me dumbass questions like, is that a Ponzi? Is that a pyramid? Does that thing really make money? Let's get rid of that person. And let me only go after Gutavius, Gustavius, Marla, Teddy, Robin Hood, uh, 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 Sharice. Let's go out to Sean. Let's go out to Spencer Teller because these people have been listening to Kawan talk for the past hour and 30 minutes. So I know that they're more subject to actually buy something from a marketer. But instead, it's easier to rant about things you cannot change. And you look foolish. You look just as foolish as the man or woman that talks about their spouse or their significant other on Facebook. And then the next day you see them cheesing and hugged up. I love this woman. I love this man. And then the next breath, they're talking crap about that person. This person makes me sick. I can't stand this person. You look foolish. That's how foolish you look about talking about social media while on social media. Because this isn't complicated. If you don't want nobody to track you, if you don't want nobody using your information, then just stop using the platform. Oh, but you ain't about to do that though, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Because you're addicted. See? So stop it. Stop it. The only person, the only people... That should worry about somebody know what they got going on. If somebody's doing something wrong. Now, if you're doing something illegal, by all means, I get it. You do not want to be tracked right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Makes perfect sense. I'm, 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 on, I'm on the same page as you. You better stop when you get caught. But if that's not the case and you're a law-abiding citizen, you ain't got nothing going on, you ain't got nothing worth stealing, nothing worth knowing about, nothing worth... <sighs> then why do you care? You really think someone care about you? what you ate yesterday? Oh, my God. Mark knows I went to that restaurant. He saw, he saw me post my plate of food yesterday. Oh, my God. Okay. He saw me post my pet. This is just crazy. Okay. You really care that much? I'm just trying to make it make sense. See what I'm saying? Focus on the things that matter. That's, the reason, that's, that's why I was going with that whole thing. Focus on the things that matter when it comes to your business and marketing. Those things don't matter. Right? They don't matter. Do they matter in your day to day? You know, people get all caught up in politics. How much has that has actually changed from president to president to president? It's all a game and you're a pawn and you get played out because when you start really being honest, you say, well, wait a minute. Every president, every president, every president said they were going to lower taxes. Has anybody done it? Yeah, they'll play with it a little bit. Yeah, oh, Trump left. it'll be a little bit. But has any major change came? This was the first time we probably seen a major change where the government gave us money with, during this pandemic. Like, oh, I've seen a major change, but both both administrations didn't. It don't matter if it was Trump. It don't matter if it was Biden. They've both been giving out money. It's just the pandemic. It don't matter who's in office. So outside of that, let's be honest. How much has changed? 
How much has changed? Oh, did we did we stop wars? Have war stopped? No. Every single president has bombed somebody. Every single president has evaded some country and put our nose in some business that was not ours. Every single one. From the time that you've been on this planet. That's a long time. I'm 46. Nope, I'm 47. Yeah, so I'm forgetting my own age now. <laughs> I'm 47 years old. And there's been a war since I've been on this planet. But yet and still, every year we fall for the propaganda, right? Every year, we're gonna lower taxes. We're gonna bring our troops home. Blah, 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 blah. And then we get, and then we start dividing, conquering on each other. Yeah, you're a, you're a Democrat. You're a Republican. Playing ourselves, puppets. See, leaders is walking around with blinders on. They're not even paying attention to that. I know some of you guys are probably saying, "Well, no, nah, come on." I saw you put up a couple of posts about. It. I didn't give a damn about them people. I just knew that people love a good debate. So I knew by me putting up that post, I was going to get a ton of engagement. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the engagement. Ended up with 300 comments on one of those posts. Guess what? That means when I put up a marketing post afterwards, you saw it. If you're going to let the government play, I'm going to use the same government tactics to play you as well. I don't give a damn about who's in office. That stuff ain't going to make or break me. That stuff ain't going to pay my mortgage. Nothing went up dramatically. Nothing went down dramatically. The same life I was living last year, the year before that, the year before that, I'm still living. Little changes here and there, okay? Little things in policy. Nothing so significant that I'm doing 10 backflips for and say, oh my God, I'm so happy this person is president right now. Let's be honest. Every single president made promises and broke that promise after being in office or didn't complete the promise after being in office. Well, because of the Democrat. Well, because of the Republican. Well, because they blocked the vote. It doesn't matter what your reason is. Stop getting played. And this goes for politics. This goes for marketing. This goes for everything that you deal with in life. If you deal with it from a boss level, if you deal with it from uh, 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 from a leadership level, you're going to have the leadership results. Period. Period. The things that you see that I accomplished, things you see people like Roddy Byrne accomplish, things you see like Greg Projecta, these aren't done by accident. This is come from a I don't give a F about what you feel about me attitude. Every single one of us has had a I don't give a damn what you feel about me. I know how I feel about myself and I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing. And the people that resonate with it will resonate with it and everybody else will fall by the wayside. Period. Sometimes I got to check myself. Like I said, I could be a crypto millionaire right now if I would have paid attention to what the man was telling me over a year ago. Doesn't matter what the rest of the world feels. This thing been going on for over two and a half years, and I've watched them do this for two and a half years. I watched them go from zero to hero. I watched them go from the multi, 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 multi million that he is right now. That now doesn't even matter what you think. You can do anything he wants in this world. He can go start any type of business, any type of opportunity. And what I told you, success attracts success. So now what he has, he has celebrities following him. He got celebrities hanging on his every word. He got people that saying, "Well, wait a minute." <laughs> I'm a celebrity and I don't even make the kind of money you're making right now. I ain't made no $2 million. I just did a movie. Okay, I need to pay attention. Yeah, let that sink in. But if you never change your mindset, oh, you wouldn't even get to that status. Because you're letting other people influence your day-to-day. You're letting other people influence how you think, how you walk, how you talk. You're letting other people determine if you're going to be a success or not and then when that person talks you out of a business talks you out of an opportunity talks you out of something that could change your life they're nowhere to be found after they ain't there to pick up no pieces they ain't there to pay your mortgage they ain't there to help you but they sure there to knock you down you know why write it down because misery loves company so since they're a failure, since they ain't doing what it takes to be successful, since they ain't want to go the extra mile, they want to knock you down. They want to knock you off your square. They want to make sure that you're in the same boat as them. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? No. You hang with bosses. You hang with leaders. Steel sharp and steel. You go to events. You go to con- See, those events ain't just to be in events. It's so that you can now rub elbows with top level people. So that the next time that you do con, see, let's say you see me at an event. Hey, Kawan, how you doing? It's Spencer from online. Man, finally get to meet each other. Yeah, man, what's up, brother? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
end up having lunch at the event, end up chopping it up, talking, having meeting of the minds. We can get a lot more done here than we can get done on Facebook. And Facebook got a lot of distractions, and I don't really have time to just sit down and talk to you, but now I do. We exchange phone numbers. You know what I'm saying? You, you wish me a safe flight home. Time goes by. Weeks go by. All of a sudden, one day, Spencer reaches out to me. Hey, Kawhi, how you doing? Oh, hey, man, what's up, Spencer? How you been? Oh, I've been doing good. Hey, man, I just joined this opportunity. I want to know if you take a look at it. Let me ask you a question. Do you think it's a better chance I'll take a look at it now? That I've talked to Spencer? That I've met Spencer in person? That we've chopped it up? That I got his personal phone number in my phone now? Do you think there's a better chance that I'll actually join? And at the very least, even if I don't join, I'll take a look at it. Now, same scenario. I never met Spencer a day in my life. I only seen him on Facebook, okay? I see him comment on some of my posts, but hey, I, like I said, I don't know him like that. He jumped in my inbox and said, hey, Kwan, you got time to take a look at something? Nah, Spencer, you know, right now, man, you know, my, my plate's kind of full. I got a lot going on. You know, I'm promoting like eight different things. I'm kind of comfortable with what I'm doing, what I'm doing. So, yeah, man, like right now, I just don't have the time to look at something. Yeah. That's, that's the response you're going to get from me. I'm going to be honest with you. Some of you gotten it. You know it. That's the response you're going to get. But if it's Spencer from my round table, if this is somebody, if this is Robin Hood that I've, I've met in person or something like that, oh, that's a different situation. I know you. At the very least, I'm going to look at it. It's like if your brother, your sister, your mother, your aunt, your br- if those people, people that you know, like, and trust say, hey, would you take a look at something? You're going to say yes. Doesn't mean you're going to join, but you're going to look. Half the battle's already been done right there. Let's be honest. If everybody you talk to would just look at what you had, do you think that a large percentage would join just based off of the fact that you have something real to offer? A lot of you can't even get to that point, though, right? You're looking for leaders. You can do something strategic. Like I just did right now. Talk, right? I just talked for two hours, and some of you guys are still here. You've been here the whole time. Every single person that stayed here in my book has leadership qualities. I don't even have to look at who's on here right now. If I go back and see that a person stayed there for two hours, you have what it takes to be a leader in my book because it was important enough for you to spend your day with me. In two hours' time, you can watch a full movie. Somebody right now sat down in front of Netflix, put on a movie, finished the movie, and turned back to Facebook and realized that Kawan is still talking. These are the type of people that you're looking for. Also, our numbers stay between 29 and 30 people, which means that retention was high. This are the pe- these are the type of people that you want in your organization. These are the type of people that you want to teach to become leaders. And these are the type of people that will ride to the end of the earth for you. Some of these people on this call is doing it right now with me. And that's why I appreciate them like 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 my own kids and like my own family and all that that's why it's nothing i wouldn't do for them as to why that any one of them that's been on my team for any significant amount of time they can get right in my inbox share anything with me ask me any questions and i'm going to be open period because of our relationship that we built so your job is to build this relationship okay and we're going to end it with that. So this real talk, I need a reminder of a lot of what you said. Thank you. You're as real as they come. Salute. Appreciate you, Robin. Robin been with me a long time, too. Years, man. You know what I'm saying? Years. We're not talking about no fly-by-night people here. Years. I can go down here and show you people that have been with me for years. <sighs> All right. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you for rocking with me this long. You know what I mean? I know you could have been anywhere but here. You know what I mean? And you stuck with me through the whole thing. I hope you got some value out this situation. Again, for those that didn't catch it, this right here is the new NFT platform that Coinbase is about to drop. I think it's going to be huge because you know how Coinbase do. Like them, hate them, or love them. The one thing that I do give them credit for is the fact that they simplified everything. They make everything just simple. Like it made buying crypto simple. They made transferring to your bank simple. You know, I just went store my stuff there. So I can only imagine what they're going to do with this NFT platform. They're going to make it so you can buy, sell, trade off of the platform. I already know they're about to make everybody else step up their game. So I highly recommend that you be ahead of it, not behind it. Don't wait till the whole world's talking about NFTs. And now here you come all late to the party talking about Kwan. Did you say something about NFTs like a year ago? Don't be that guy. Don't be that woman. Get in now. It doesn't cost you anything to, at the very least, 
put yourself on the waiting list. You had so many people that looked the other gift horse in the mouth, which was iHub Global, right? And now look at them playing themselves. We got people that's making 40 or 50 dollars a day. You know what I'm saying? Right now, Helium, I don't know if you realize this. When we first introduced iHub to everybody to the world, Helium was only $12. It had just rose to 15 when I jumped in. Do you realize that right now Helium is over $45? Well, at least last I checked. But yesterday it was over $45. Your money tripled. Your money tripled. And then if you was getting this for free through a, a, a miner that cost you nothing, the price of a single watt light bulb, a single 20 watt light bulb, and here you is looking at gift horse now. Nothing in life is free. How many people you heard say these things before we go? <laughs> nothing in life for free. Mm -mm. You know, just they take 20%. Well, I mean, they only give you 20%. Or they only give you 50%. Well, 20% of something is better than 100% of nothing, ain't it? Let's say it again for the small people in the back. 20 and 50% of something is better than 100% of nothing. So why are we looking gift horses in the mouth? Oh, broke mentality, marketer mentality, not leader mentality. Okay, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. Think like a leader. Think like a boss. Don't play yourself and listen to people that are non-factors because they're going to be a non-factor in your ultimate goal, opportunity, and income. So scan that QR code if you want access. If you don't, hey, it's all good. You know, one month ain't going to stop no show because what I showed you, let me show you something. Let me show you why you don't have to base your business off of, you know, the few that ain't going to do nothing. You see that number right there? My rank was 2,478,160 before I shared with a soul. Okay? Before I shared with a soul. Well, let's go see where that's at now. So let's stop screen sharing that one and let's share the updated version. So let's share again. Share screen. And let's share the updated version. And let's see where we're at now. And let's refresh that page. 3,000. Look at that. 2,534. Oh, oh, wait. I went to the wrong one. Hold up. Let me stop that. So look at 2 million. Let's do that again. Why well, keep going to that page? Let me kill this page real fast. So I don't stop making a mistake. So here we go. One more time. And we out of here. Here we go. Look at that. I went from a million, two million, whatever crazy number to now ranking 2,534. That rank just means the closer you are to one, the faster that you're going to be a part of this platform. And this is something that we're sharing for free. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, don't let non-factors be a factor within your business. Can we say it again? Don't let non-factors become a factor within your business. And with that being said, I am out. I appreciate you guys. I see you on the next one. You know how we do. Keep getting that money like a boss at all costs. Peace.